Come along while we turn this ugly duckling dresser into a thing of beauty. So my vision for this piece is a baker's island or a kitchen island. I know the top is a beautiful piece of solid wood. I'm guessing oak or something to that effect. Um, I'm going to remove all of the paint. I want to take it down to bare wood and kind of start all over. So even though I'm doing that, I want to give the piece a thorough cleaning. That was step one. And I removed all of the drawers. The two bottom drawers are staying out and I'm going to put some shelves in there. Uh, but for the top, that paint all needed to come off and that's what you're seeing here. I started out with the scraper and that was a little bit slow going so I moved on to my heat gun. I love the heat gun. Um, <laughs> it's fast, it's easy, and uh, I did speed up both of these frames here just to get through them for you, but um, you can see the process. And um, if you don't have a heat gun, actually I do have this one uh, linked in my description below. They are safe to use and they make uh, sometimes the removal, removal of paint um, go a lot quicker than <laughs> just a, uh, the regular old scraping would be. I debated whether or not to take my scraper and scrape. Scrape the blue off because if you remember, we've done some of the safe null and it will take off the blue and then what remains is the white enamel-like paint. So I'll go ahead and put a, you know, a coat of the safe null. It will lift the blue, will take off the blue, but will what will remain is the white. But I started in scraping and it's, this is a really slow process. So I'm gonna go ahead, we'll put a coat of the safe null on, we'll remove that and um, we'll go from there. When you see this crocodile, alligator, which is it? Both? Is that the way they both look? Us northern girls don't know these things. Anyway, when you see that kind of um, look on the paint, that means it's working. And out here in the sun, it works even faster. So I'm going to keep a close eye on this. I don't want this to dry out. I don't want this um, gel to dry out too much, but it's going along pretty well. Uh, much better. <laughs> uh, I've been working on this for about an hour and a half, and um, I'm making progress. But yeah, this is the work, you know? Sometimes you see the befores and afters, and um, sometimes people are working in their air-conditioned comfort or their you know, fans on blowing in their garage, although I have a nice breeze right now. I think you can hear it. Um, maybe see it in the trees. I have this beautiful, beautiful, you know, vista. I have a nice view, but um, working out in the sun, I have a little bit of shade. I have a, I have literally a postage stamp worth of shade here. <laughs> um, it's hot, it's hot today. So I'm just going to take a few minutes and um, anyway, thank you all for watching and if you're enjoying the clip, you know, um, give me a thumbs up and please um, leave a comment if you have questions or if you're just enjoying the video or whatever. And um, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, um, let me know in your comments what you'd like to see and um, hit that subscribe bell slash button that I like to call it. <laughs> and um, I'll be sure to leave you more content and my break is over back to more work <laughs>
heading out to the hardware store for some things for our island, kitchen island, and um, I might be picking up, shh, don't tell Dennis, might be picking up a dresser, um, but we'll see. If we get it in the car, I'll show it to you. You'll be the first to know. <laughs> picking up pine boards. This one is way too yellow. There's one here. This one looked really good, but then there was this funky basically coming apart and I need the width. I can't, can't not have the width, so that one's out. Um, so by default, I think it's this guy. Okay, we've got the boards onto the paint department. Trying to get every little last bit in these corners. And I've got another can of a stripper here that I like to use for those little tight spots. Oh, I've got company. Why, hello. Hi, girls. I think they want to eat. So I'm going to take a quick break here and go grab their lunch <laughs> and, and put some stripper on these spots. Hi. <laughs> okay. You girls ready? Ready for some lunch? This is their corn break. Yeah, it's a corn break. <laughs> I have to be careful where I'm stepping, walking and stepping because they sometimes just take their little, you know, what's wherever they feel like it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I know. So excited. Put a little bit right here. And there's mom, one of the moms. We have we have three moms. <laughs> well, two moms and two moms and three fawns. Um, two of them are twins. You can come around. And one is a single. And you should be able to tell which was which belonged to whom. Now they are all just together and happy. A big old happy family. Go ahead. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do anything. You must be starving. We kind of forgot breakfast this morning, didn't we? As long as I don't make any sudden moves. Oh, I gotta get away from yours. I'm, I'm sorry. I was a little too close for her. Okie dokie. Now everybody's happy. Now we're all happy. And big mom over there, she's a big doe. She is going to be, have to be careful this fall. <laughs> and we have a buck. My husband and I saw a big buck. We, um, well, I'll tell you the whole story another time, but we think we know who he is and he's back. And if I can get him on camera, I will. I promise you. He's a trophy buck. I just sawed off the drawer stops to the two top drawers. I ended up creating more work for myself there. <laughs>
bottom of this drawer box was in pretty bad shape. Uh, first of all, there's a gaping hole in the front and there were a few pretty good sized cracks and whatnot. It just had to be replaced. I'm not much of a carpenter, but I gave it my best shot and you'll see that here coming up. So this minute and 20 seconds of video was about an hour or so in real time of trim and fit and trim and fit and trim and fit. Um, like I said, I wasn't much of a carpenter, but it really was worth it in, you'll see here in a second, it fit like a glove. Next step is going to be applying the Watco Butcher Block top coat and that's going to be going on our project boards as well as the top of the dresser. I have sanded down, um, obviously you saw sanding on the dresser, the, the project boards have been sanded down as well. And this um, Butcher Block oil is going on to both sides of these project boards. So both sides have been sanded and I'm applying it quite liberally. It's going to soak in overnight. And like I said, both sides are getting this treatment. And you'll see here, one side gets done and it gets set aside. And then the next day I come back and give it a scuff sand before I apply the second coat. What I did not get any video of was just prior to applying the stain, I did uh, give this a nice coat of a wood conditioner. I like using the conditioners because I think it gives the wood a nice opportunity to absorb the stain more evenly. So what you do is you apply it um, uh, again with a rag or a brush, uh, leave it on for about 10 minutes and then just wipe it off. So. That was done and then I used the General Finishes Nutmeg with a wipe on. Um, I really love this color. It's just, it's warm, um, it's not orangey, it's 
not too dark, not too light, and um, it's one of my favorites. Anyway, I'll put a link down below if you want to give it a try. If you've made it this far, I give you lots of props, but you have to admit, we did cover a lot of ground in this video, but you've earned your big reveal. So here it comes, coming up right here, right now.